All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the house at 2208 South 11th. This is a huge house. Um, this is enough for uh, two families almost. I mean, it's right off of uh, 11th and Dorcas, kind of give you a, a scanning of the area. I'll show you what it looks like. Right between uh, Martha and Dorcas. Um, it's a pretty big house, so um, there's no off-street parking. You have to park on the street. It may be parking in the back. I'll go back here and look here, kind of see what we can find. Still kind of in the process. We're still working on the house a tad bit. I didn't have even finished getting the grass up, but still in the works here. Backyard. No, you can't really park. It's an alley in the back. Does have a uh, walkout basement, um, which should be over here. Walkout basement. It does not have central air. If I have to repeat that, and you have to get your own window air condition. But um, has a lot of room. So if you have a big family, this will be perfect for you. If you need big bedrooms to put your big king size bed in, you can do that. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, as we enter in the front door here. Um, let me let my camera kind of adjust. There we go. Got the uh, uh, entryway goes upstairs. You got like four bedrooms upstairs. You got one on the main level. This is considered the living room. I would do pictures, but this house is so big, it's probably better to go ahead and do a video. So, um, that'll be a closet. That's kind of like a coat closet. Okay. And then there's just another way to come in to the front door, just like a little hallway here. Okay. Um, you do have a side door. This is a side door right here. Go outside. This is the living room. Or dining room, let's call it the dining room. Chandelier there. Wood floors, all hardwood floors throughout. Painted hardwood floors, they painted them. Um, you have a huge bedroom right here on the main level. Got a ceiling fan. Okay. And then you got a bathroom, a full bathroom on the main level. Um, now this bathroom is off somebody's off the bedroom, so or actually in the bedroom. So um, maybe you can make this a kid's bedroom because you have to actually access this room to get to the bathroom. Um, now I do like to tell people what size bed you can put in here. You can definitely put a king size bed. This room is huge, so you're able to put a king size bed. That's all. Um, kitchen will be here. Ceiling fan in the kitchen, that's nice, that's a nice deal. I like ceiling fans in the kitchen. You have a back door here, it's a back door. Go out back to the side. So you have three ways out. Side, front, and back door. Okay, kitchen is here. You have to get your own fridge, it doesn't come with a fridge. It does have a stove here. Now the stove is kind of left, so um, if it don't work, you have to get your own stove because we do not supply appliances. So appliance was left, um, they cleaned it up. And I'm sure it works. Let's see now if it works. Gas may not be on. Oh, it works. So there you go. So it works. So um give you another view of that backyard. Backyard back there. They gotta clean these windows. My team gotta come in, clean it down, wash it down, get everything nice and clean. Um, this is the back stairs. Let's go on up the back stairs. So you have two ways up and down. Um, the back stairs take you right to the second bathroom, which will be here. Has a tub, sink, shower. Okay. All right, that's the back stairs. Let me cut that light off. This won't be going back that way. Oh, it's automatic. Okay, so I'm upstairs now, and you got the back bedroom here, which is huge. You can get a king size bed in here. 
The floors will be painted up here. They haven't been painted yet, but we're gonna get the floors all painted. So that'll be done here. Probably I just called actually called my maintenance guy. Told him to come over here and get that taken care of. Got a closet here, huge walk-in closet. So you go in there. And making your way back. So that's uh two bedrooms I've shown you so far. And then this one here is a little smaller bedroom. Um I would say this is a four and a half bedroom. That's that's Let's cut back on the five and call it a four and a half. Cause this will be a half bath, a half the bedroom. Half the bedroom, yeah. Four and a half bedroom, I'm gonna go with that. This bedroom is small, maybe like a kid's bed or a twin size bed or something, you know. That's a small room. Now this is the stairway going down the front, back to the main area there, okay. Makes sense. And then this room here is a huge bedroom. King size beds in all rooms except the little small one I just showed you. Okay, like I said, the floors will be painted. So they'll be painted brown again. Closet, let's see what the closet looks like over here. Let's walk in. Small closet, not as big as the last bedroom. It's a little small closet. Okay. Um, this room is huge. Definitely huge. You could put lots of stuff in here. Some people like the huge bedrooms. Uh, in South Omaha, you don't get many bedrooms that's this big, so this is kind of a plus. And then you got the fourth bedroom, which is huge as well. Like I said, all king size beds in all the rooms. The floor will be painted. It has little spots and stuff, so we'll paint that. Don't worry about it. By the time you come look at this personally, if you needed to, it'll be all painted. So this is the house at 2208 South 11. If you're interested in it, you can give me a call, 402-657-6938. And my name is Chris. Um, the driveway does not come with the house. The driveway is the neighbor. You don't have, you have to pretty much park on the street. Um, plenty of parking on the street right in front of the house. It should be fine. Um, but if you like this house, definitely get a hold of me and we'll make it happen for you. So. Thanks for watching my videos as always, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.